Hey everyone, Kwame here. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're safe and you're enjoying life and all that good stuff. Today I just want to do a quick, not unboxing because I already unboxed and been using it for a few days, but a quick uh, talk about my new camera. You saw in the title, a camera I picked up instead of a smartphone, and that is this here, uh, Fujifilm XF10. So this is a not a new camera by any means. I think it came out in 2018. And it's a point and shoot camera from Fujifilm. Now, it's more than just that. You can do like zone focusing. You can um, do snap pictures, which I guess is the same as the zone focusing. Uh, I can do some like macro type work. But what's really cool about this camera uh, is that it is it has a full APS-C sensor in here. So it has the same sensor size as the A6100 but it is way, way smaller than the A6100. This literally fits in my pocket. And the other reason why I picked this up is because I've been wanting to shoot film or at least have a film simulation in my pictures. Now I picked up my, those two plugins that I've talked about before and I will have a link down below if you're interested in those plugins. Again, they're not affiliate links. They're just really cool plugins that give you the film simulation from a Fujifilm camera or a Leica camera, things like that. But the problem is, again, I gotta process the pictures to get that look. With this here, I get the look built into the camera. So they have Velvia, they have classic chrome, they have classic negative or something. Uh, they have a bunch of features that are really cool. And I've been using this as like a digital film camera. Let me back up. Normally when I'm taking pictures, I always shoot raw. There's, you know, I'm not gonna go in the the debate of raw versus jpeg i always shoot raw because i like editing and tweaking my pictures and i want to get the most out of it but with this fuji film i've been shooting more jpeg and actually I've been shooting raw plus jpeg but the jpegs look so good out of camera with the fuji films film simulation that to me this camera is a what i'm calling a digital film camera right i don't have to go and uh, get it developed or anything like that. I'm not limited to you know 36 pictures, 24 pictures, 12 pictures, uh, and I have a full APS-C lens in here. And again, the pictures you're seeing right now are just straight out of the camera. Some have been edited in, in Lightroom, but uh, they're straight out of the camera, and they look really, really good. Especially if you're just posting them on social, or in my case, you know, I do plan on printing some of these pictures because again, full APS-C sensor and it literally fits in the pocket of my pants pocket. Like not even jacket pocket, pants pocket. If you remember the A6100 with the 20 millimeter lens, that fit perfectly in like my hoodie or uh, in a jacket pocket, but it wasn't a good fit in the pants. This is a good fit for a pants pocket. So I'm really excited about this. It does shoot video. I don't plan on shooting video with this, but you can use the film simulations in the video. Um, it's really really fun and here's here's the thing that's gonna really suck i could see myself upgrading to like an x100v in the future probably not any of their interchangeable lenses or i could see myself upgrading to like a like a q2 in the future so who knows this is maybe the uh gateway drug to Fuji or Leica cameras. But so far I'm super happy with this camera. You can, it was, it came down between this and the GR3, Ricoh GR3. This was like half the price and uh, I picked it up on Amazon used uh, for literally just a couple hundred dollars. Everything looked new with it. It, it didn't come with, a, um, with the, the original box or anything, but you know, I got a battery, I got the strap, everything was still in, in plastic. So, you know, it's been holding up really good good what i really liked about this one is that when you turn it on the lens didn't really pop out so it didn't get much bigger than this with the rico and some other ones the lens got a little bit bigger um and again the rico had the price and um the i like the look of this and i think uh you know sony's probably probably doing better camera like point and shoot camera especially with their uh optical zoom and things but I just wanted something 28 millimeter um, full frame equivalent equivalent lens so i'm used to that focal length i actually really like that focal length you can do um, up close pictures landscape pictures 
Uh, it's not the greatest for portraits, but with a 2.8 aperture, you can get some nice separation. So yeah, so far, again, I really liked it. I will maybe do like a more long-term in-depth review, you know, several months from now, but so far as that everyday carry point and shoot camera, that again, I have so much fun playing with the film simulations and then you can create your own, which I haven't done yet. So there's so much you can do with this that I'm really, really liking and literally having a camera that I can take everywhere with me, even into the grocery store and like, you know, taking the dogs out on a walk, literally throw this in a pocket um, is really, really nice. So yeah, this is the Fujifilm XF10. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a point and shoot camera or an everyday camera or something like this, or if you're interested in it, which one would you pick up? I like this one for the size, but I can see myself getting like an X100V with a couple of lens adapters and um, that could be my new daily setup. All right, thank you as always for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later, bye bye.